people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment and news. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is an incident that occurred in a place called Spanish Town, Spain Town to be specific. And it involves a youth, I think that he is 23 year old, government named Kevin MacLeod, OC, China, aka China. He is from Church Pen, I am speaking about in Spanish Town. Just a little information about this youth, he attended high school, Heidel High School. He was a football player, a very promising youth. Now people, based on the information, and people, this is information from the news, it is said that he was working at some sort of chicken stand, jerk chicken stand, and some man pulled up and order some chicken, and when he turned around to serve the chicken, he was conned up. He was hit at least five times in the upper body, upper torso, and also in the head. People, it was very bad. I have the picture. And this is his picture right here that I can show on YouTube. Now people, word on the street is polar opposite. It is not the same as word from the news. Based on information, it is said that this youth, he lives a double life. Yes, he helps and assists somebody that he knows that also sells chicken. However, he also has a side job. That side job is this, he hustles weed. Based on the information from the street, it is said that some man approached and ordered a $200 bag. Not sure about the specifics, the quantity of the weed. However, they ordered some sort of weed as sham. When he turned around to retrieve the bag, his stash bag, he was conned up at least five times. Now, people, the question that we have to ask is this. Which story sounds more reasonable? Which story sounds more feasible? Which story sounds more rational? People, a lot of times people are doing innocent job are doing legal job and them lose them life a random case of violence however people in this case that was not the case because based on the information it is said that the men pulled up and it was some sort of hit because nobody else was hurt nobody else had to run because them just do what them come for do and them get the h-e-l-l -L out of town now people i am sure that we've heard the saying i work may i work and a chicken may i jerk so people the question that we have to ask is this what type of work was this youth doing? Is it legitimate? Is it legal? Or is it some sort of illegal activity? People, you do the much. More than likely, some sort of illegal activity. Now, people, the truth and the fact is that there are incidents in which persons are doing their legal juggling, their legal job, and they are working hard and them end up lose their life. However, people, those cases are less likely than the fact that if you are doing something illegal meaning that if this person was just a jerk chicken vendor this person was not involved in any sorts of mix-up more than likely this person would not have lost his life and people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued like i said there are instances in which you are working because people will understand the mentality of jamaicans there is always envy there's always some sort of covetousness even when you are just a jerk chicken vendor, any sort of vendor, any sort of hustler, any sort of higgler, that always happens. So therefore, if somebody don't like you, they can get somebody to take you away. However, people, this is least likely that this is going to happen. So people, me just say, the chances are, if you are hustling, anything that is illegal that has to do with any sort of big money, meaning any sort of weed, any sort of cocoa, the likely possibility is going to be amped up even more. You will more lose your life or something like that. Other than if you are selling chicken. I talk about a work, your work, and a chicken, your jerk. People, you do the maths. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called, be very careful who you hire. Be very careful who you look out for. And I am speaking specifically about an incident that occurred. And it involves a businessman. He is 52-year-old Mark Phipps. 
He is from Riverton Meadows in a Kingston. Based on the information, it is said that the St. Andrew South Popo, they are trying to ascertain information wherein Mr. Phipps was taken out at about 9 a.m. at his business development, a housing development. Based on the information, it is said that five gunmen entered the premises. The businessman challenged them. However, he did not win that challenge. He was taken to the place of recovery. However, people, he did not make it. Based on the information from the Popo, it is said that robbery was the motive. Now, people, why I say be very careful who you hire. Obviously, we see that he was robbed. Obviously, we see say, somebody gave him some sort of information. Somebody that more than likely works for him and know that, listen, he is going to have X amount of dollars at this time because it is payment time. That means uh, payroll time. So therefore, the person who ever called these gunmen, these gunmen did not just show up on the scene randomly. These gunmen, they are not any sorts of psychic or any sorts of profit. So therefore, they knew that this man is going to have money. More than likely, this was done. The motive behind this was some sort of employee of this man, which he felt sorry for, that maybe one day pull up and say, Mr. Phipps, want me now to work, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, bling. And then Mr. Phipps feels sorry for them and hire them. However, they had ulterior motive, and the ulterior motive is this. They were going to act as if they are workers. However, they are going to watch the business for a little while. And people, this happens oftenly in a Jamaica, often in a Jamaica. So don't think as if this is some sort of isolated incident. So therefore, when these people pull up, them know they have X amount of money. When these people pulled up, they knew that he's going to have some sort of tool. However, people, like the saying goes, whoever wheel and pop off first, they're going to be at an advantage. The person that is shocked and odd, he is going to try. However, it is going to be an exercise in futility, meaning that it is going to be hopeless. Too late was the call and people, as it pertains to this man, Mr. Phipps, we saw that that was the case in this case. So people, at the end of the day, the moral of the story is this. Be very careful the type of business that you're in. Be very careful the type of person that you hire. And people, what is even worse, be very careful if you even want to do any sorts of business that hire any sorts of person. However, people, the truth and the fact is that Jamaica is not supposed to be that way. You as a businessman with ambitions of doing some sort of business, you are supposed to operate without being under pressure from these criminals. However, people, we see that nobody is safe in Jamaica. You can be doing legitimate business and end up losing your life because of your ambitions, because of the fact that you want to be a constructive member in a society. However, people, it seems as if the wolves and the hyena, they are taken over, point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that, people, it is no secret that dancehall and the cops, they don't mix it is like two D-I-C-K-S and no sorts of chicks. We know that taxi man and popo, they don't get along. However, people, you have a specific DJ, a dancehall DJ selector in a Jamaica. His name is Boom Boom. And whenever he is selecting, he makes a whole bunch of noise. You think that he is a madman. However, people, it seems as if a top cop, it seems as if Boom Boom's noise was getting to this top cop. And people, he was going to make his feelings be known. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. Oh, yeah. chat too much. Oh, you have to relax. 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 Oh, you have to relax.
Now, people, this is my disclaimer. I am not saying that this video is new. I don't know the date of this video. However, it is a classic. The message is going to be the same. Now, people, based on this video, it is obvious that this popo, he got some sorts of information or he heard some sort of noise coming from the party and he decided, listen, I am going to put a stoppage to this. I am going to lay in the cut, watch everything, see what is going on, and then I am going to unleash my wrath. And people, we even saw that he, T-H-R-E-A-T-E-N-E-D, for basically box down or kick down because in chat too much however people the truth and the fact is that whichever way we want to spin this it is lack of professionalism there is no sorts of professionalism in a this because there is no way under master god earth where a popo should be acting in a disorder regardless of what boom boom was saying or boom boom was doing and people what is even worse you hear the yes man them in the background yeah man a two man in chat too much the same person that was railing up and saying yeah sound system sound good boom boom are going good so people it only shows you the same mouth will say ray or the same mouth will say nay point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up